Hello, hello. Hi, Samuel. I can see Samuel right now. Hello, teacher. Hi, good, good evening. evening. How are you today? Uh, it's very nice day. Okay. A very nice day. Very good. How about Katia? Hi, Katia. How is it going, Katia? Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice to see you. Very good. Okay. So let's wait for your classmates. Let's wait so they can turn on the cameras right now. I already have, let me see, 90 students. 90 students, okay? So class, I was checking WhatsApp and people from the academy, they shared this message in which they were saying that you have already completed all the exercises from section number five, right? So I completed on section number five and the final exam. So I'm really happy to know that. Very happy because this group, it was a very great group, you know? I didn't have to push you or to be like insisting you to complete the exercises. You did it. Un grupo, igual nos tuvimos que estar repitiendo o insistiendo. No, you did it. Sabían qué hacer y lo hicieron muy bien. So, let me say congratulations, class. Lo hicieron muy bien. Ha sido un módulo muy bonito, muy productivo. In this class, we are going to practice, okay? Practice some of the topics that we have been studying in the previous classes so you cannot forget about the topics okay what is your goal to finish all the levels or all the yes todos los eh, niveles de este de este curso okay esa es su meta finalizar and to practice tratemos de practicar siempre para no olvidar el contenido que hemos visto okay recuerden la práctica hacia el maestro y también tenemos las bondades de la tecnología, ¿ok? Aprovechemos la plataforma, ahí queda su contenido siempre. Si no recordamos algo, vamos a la plataforma de regreso y practicamos, ¿ok? So, now I can see Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Welcome to the class. Ingrid. Amilcar, nice to see you. Jaime, as well. Very good. Welcome to your class. Teacher, I am uh, still at work. You are at work. Imagine, imagine, you are still at work. So, thank you so much for that effort, for joining the class. Yes, thank you. I can see who else. Irma, Irma is in the class already. Welcome, Irma. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Very good job. Well, cameras on, please. So we can say hello to each other. Marina. Hi, Marina. I have Claudia, Lisette, and Emma as well. I cannot hear you, Marina. Now, maybe you're having problems with your microphone. O no sé si solo soy yo, chicos, pero yo no pude escuchar a Marina. ¿Ustedes se pudieron? No, no. Ah, ok. Yes. Now we can. Very good. I can see Kelly. Sí, permiso permiso para, para apagar la cámara 20 o 15 minutos antes. Lo que le comenté la vez anterior. Ah, ok, ok. Now I remember. Yeah, so don't worry. Ya me acordé, ok. 15 minutos antes de finalizar la clase. Bien, no hay problema. I can see Stacy, hi Stacy, Emma, Claudia, Lisette, and Nereida. Welcome to your class, okay? Thank you so much for the effort. So, I already have 18 students. Muy bien, justo a tiempo, todos, just on time. What class is this one? What number is it one? ¿Qué clase es esta? Do you remember? 16. Class number 16, yes. Class number 16, 
this is a, the class for the final exam review. So we can take a look at some of the topics that we have been studying in the class. This is the last class for beginner number two. It means that you're moving to the next step, next level. And this is class number 16. You did it, you did it. You did a great job, 16 classes. This is the last class for this module, for este, eh, para beginner número dos. Muy bien, clase, lo pudieron hacer, ya ven. We can do it. Podemos hacer cosas incluso más grandes si nos proponemos. And don't forget my name, teacher Elena Argueta. For this class, we're going to have this activity, okay? As this is the last class, the final review, look at this one. We're going to practice the, a tongue twister, tongue twister. What is a tongue twister? Do you have any idea? Tongue twister. Trabalenguas. Okay, tongue twister in Spanish, trabalenguas. Trabalenguas or tongue twisters, they are going to help you to pronounce correctly and to be confident, okay? To emphasize sounds as well. Nos ayudan a mejorar un poco más eh, la dicción y pronunciar más rápido, estar seguros cuando hablamos y lo más importante, enfatizar sonidos. Emphasize sounds or words. Remember that a tongue twister may be or most of the time in Spanish. They don't have uh, an exactly meaning or maybe they don't have sense. They don't make sense. But in English, the same. It's just going to help us to pronounce, okay? Muchas veces no tienen sentido en español. En inglés, tal vez eh, igual. No tienen como mucha lógica, pero si no sirve para practicar la pronunciación, okay? So, look, what is this tongue twister about? It says, a big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big buck back. So let's identify. We have two. Okay, two insects in this picture. How do we call this one? Como llamaríamos a este insecto? This one, the bigger one. This is a? Big bug. It's a bug. Or, yes, bug. Llamémosle así, bug. Aunque tiene otro nombre, pero bug. bug, yes. Lady Bug, se le llama Lady Bug, or Bug. En este caso solo le llamaremos Bug, insecto. And what is this one? The smallest one. It's a beetle, beetle. So, what is a beetle in English? What is that? Escarabajo. Un escarabajo. So, we have a bug and a beetle. So the tongue twister, it goes like this. A big bug beat. This is a verb, beat. What is the meaning of beat? Mm -hmm. The verb in present is bite. Bite. But in this case, we have it in past, beat. Mordió. Lo tenemos en pasado. A big bug beat. The little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Diría más o menos así. Un, un pequeño insecto mordió. No, perdón, un insecto grande en este caso mordió a un pequeño, que sería escarabajo. Escarabajo. Pero el, peque, el, el escarabajo pequeño mordió de regreso o le devolvió la mordida al escarabajo o al insecto grande en este caso. Como les dije, en español tal vez no tiene sentido, pero básicamente más o menos esa es la traducción. En inglés sí tiene más sentido. Este es un nivel medio. Hay más fáciles, hay más difíciles, pero practiquemos. Déjenme practicar a mí faster. Y luego vamos con ustedes, ¿ok? Listen to the correct pronunciation. Here we go. 
a big bug, a big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. One more time. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. There you go. That is the correct pronunciation. And let me have some volunteers, some volunteers so you can practice. You can try this at home. Don't worry if you feel that you are doing this slow. Now, this is just the beginning. I promise you, uh, most of the time, casi siempre en el beginner 3, es donde metemos más tongue twisters. Ahí metemos muchos más para que ustedes se vayan acostumbrando a la pronunciación más rápida. So, I have the first one, Jancy. You can try it right now. Then I have Marvin. And as number three, Catherine. Let's go in that order. In number four, Samuel. Go, class. Go. Jancy, you are the first one. Try. Go ahead. Okay. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Wow. How did you do it? <laughs> Como la hizo? Was it great? Yes, right? Excellent, Jancy. You did an excellent job. An applause for you. Very good job. Okay, Marvin, go go ahead. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, Marvin, can you try it again faster? Uh, más rápido. <laughs> yes, faster. Más rápido. Faster. Very good. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Wow, very good pronunciation. I like it. Excellent job, Mark Green. An applause for you. You did an excellent job. Thank Who's you, next? Teacher. Catherine, right? Catherine, go ahead, please. Uh, antes Okay. Yes, I can listen to you clearly. So thank you so much for letting me know about the camera. So thank you. Go, Catherine, you can try. <laughs> okay. A big bug be the little beetle, but the little beetle be the big bug back. Wow, imagine class. How was it? It was great. Well, Catherine, you did an excellent job. Who's next? Samuel and then Amilcar. Go, class. A big bug beat the little beetle, but a big little beetle beat the big bug back. Amazing. You did an amazing job. Very good pronunciation. You know, I thought this was going to be more difficult for you. Pensé que les iba a costar más, but no, you're doing an excellent job. There you go. There you go. So, who's next one? Amilka, go and try, please. Go. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beat, beat the big bug back. Mm -hmm. One more time, one more time, Amilcar. Confidence, you can a do big it. Bug, uh, okay. A big bug uh, beat the little beetle, uh, but the little uh, beetle beat the big bug back. Big bug back, very good job. There you go. If you practice more, you can do it faster. But you did an excellent job, Amilcar. Thank you so much for okay. participating. Let's have Katya. Do you want to try Katya? Okay, teacher. There you go. A big bug by Empiezo. <laughs> okay, one A more big time. bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Very nice pronunciation. I like it. Excellent job. Catherine, do you want to try Catherine Alicia? Yes, right? Okay. A vivo by the little vivo, the book back, the little vivo, the big book back. Okay, one more time, one more time. A vivo by the little vivo, but the little vivo, big book back. Beat the big book back. Okay, beat, beat, beat the big book back. Very good job. Nereida, how about you? Do you want to try? Okay. 
A big bag with the little beetle. Bag the little beetle with the big bag bag. Very good. Nice pronunciation. Jaime. I know you want to try. Go ahead, Jaime. Okay, let's give it some time. Demore un poco de tiempo. Okay. Relax. Take your time. Jaime, do you want to try? <laughs> Go. A big bag, big, the little bit. Back the little, little, big, the big, book, back. No, one more time, one more time. <laughs> a big, back, beat, the little, little, back, the little, little, beat, the big, book, back. There you go. Correct pronunciation. Thank you so much for your effort. Saira, how about you, Saira? I want to listen to all of you. Saira, are you ready to participate? Go. Uh Lo voy a hacer como puedo porque me okay. cuesta un poquito. Don't worry, don't worry. You can go slow. A uh, big book, beat the little beetle, book the little beetle, pick the big book back. You see? That was great. Very good job. The goal. La meta es pronounce correctly. Si pueden ir rápido, that's fine. If not, let's try going slow. Emma, Emma Jamilet, do you want to try? <laughs> no, she says no. Okay, maybe at the end. Listen to your classmates and at the end. Al final, le toca Emma. Claudia Lisette, it's your time to practice. <laughs> Don't be afraid, okay? I know you can do it, Claudia. A uh, big bag, beat the little beetle, book the little beetle, beat the big book bag. Very good job. But. But, solo esa palabrita, but, the little beetle beat the big bug bag. You see? Thank you, Claudia. Tell me, how about you? Do you want to try, tell me? A big bug beat the little big book, the little bit beat uh, the big book bag. Okay, beetle, beetle. Escarabajo beetle. beetle. One more time. Go ahead. A big book, big, the little big book, the little big, big, and the big book back. Back. Very good job. Nice try. Okay. Now let's have Ingrid. Ingrid Jamilet, do you want to try? A big bug beat the little bill, the little bill beat the big bug. Okay, wow, at the first one. La primera la hizo. Great job. Carmen Guadalupe, are you ready to participate? Don't be afraid, okay? Relax. You can do it. Go. A uno me la prendo, teacher. Okay, okay. Me trabo Don't todavía. How de about... último, teacher. De último, de último. Okay, maybe at the end of the class. Don't worry. Irma, do you want to try, Irma Raquel? A big book beat the little beetle book, the little beetle beat the big book back. Okay, there you go, Irma. Excellent. Marina, it's your time to practice. A big book beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big book back. There you go. Nice pronunciation. How about you, Bernardo? Do you want to practice, Bernardo? A big book, a big book, back the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big book back. Okay, wow, Bernardo. There you go, there you go. Sin miedo, dice. Who's missing? Let me see. Katia? Are you there, Katia? Oh, Karen Yvette. Karen Yvette. Let me see. Come on, cameras on, please. Stacy Nicole, do you want to try, Stacy? Me da pena, pero bueno. Oh, go. Don't worry, don't worry. You can yeah. do it. A big book, but no. Beat, beat. A big book, beat the little bit, but the little bit, beat the big book back. So you see, you did an excellent job. Don't be afraid, okay? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Very good job. A big applause for you. Gabriela, Nicole, how Thanks. about you? <laughs> Gabby, are you ready to participate? 
let me stop sharing right now. Los que tengan las cámaras apagadas participan en 3, 2, 1. Ah, there you go. Ahora sí ya los veo. Ajá, Yancy, what were you doing? Yo la voy a hacer otro ratito. Es que ahorita estaba haciendo un examen de la voz. Por eso no lo podía responder. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Por eso no lo podía responder. Gerson, Juliana. Gerson, Juliana y Kelly. Let's try. Good, good evening, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But, but. Um, a big bug, big, the little beetle, but the little beetle big, the big bug, bug. Okay, that was great. Excellent job. Excellent job, an amazing job. So, who is missing? Juliana, do you want to try? Mm. A oh. big boot, uh, perdón, <laughs> a big boot beat, the little bit, boot, the little bit, beat, the big boot back. Okay, that was, you know, beetle. Me lo pronunció, no americano, sino que inglés de el Reino Unido. That's quite, that's quite interesting. So, you know, eh, los que me faltan, vamos al final. I need you to practice. I'm going to share this um, tongue twister. You can Google tongue twister or easy tongue twister so you can practice, okay? This is going to help you a lot. Okay, and at the same time, you are not afraid to practice. Así perdemos también la pena de equivocarnos. No tenga pena de equivocarse. Es lo peor que podemos hacer. Solo pidamos corrección. Ah, se pronunciaba así. Corrijo mi pronunciación. So don't be afraid to practice. This is the, the main goal. Es el objetivo principal de los tongue twisters. Oh, you did an excellent job. Gracias por esforzarse. That's también hay Tell me, Juliana. También, también hay canciones por uh -huh. ejemplo está Lemon Tree yes y, I really love that song the Lemon y Tree y es y the Lemon Tree y esa tiene bastantes de las posiciones de las cosas exactly the prepositions ajá uh -huh. inside yes. Uh -huh. Yes, you know, eh, Lemon Tree. Si no han escuchado esa canción, yes, I really like it. Es una canción que se ocupa bastante para, mm. es verdad, para repasar las preposiciones. Sometimes, algunas veces nos vemos como un poco eh, que nos detiene el compartir ese tipo de videos aquí en la clase porque estamos grabando y YouTube no nos acepta ese tipo de, de videos, ¿ok? Nos banea el video, así que. Sí, igual, The Lemon Tree is a very nice song. Se puede ocupar con cualquier nivel. Ustedes también pueden practicar. So, esos son temas o recomendaciones. ¿Cómo aprendí yo también inglés? Eh, leyendo en voz alta. Vayan, consigan libros para niños o incluso, ¿saben? Hay en internet historias para antes de dormir. Bedtime, bedtime stories vocabulario bien básico eh, y ustedes escuchan y leen. Háganlo, eso va a mejorar muchísimo su listening and su speaking practice and try to imitate even, incluso los videos que tenemos en plataforma si ustedes van y tratan de imitar muy buena pronunciación la que tenemos ahí, muy buen listening practice so you can eh, improve, improve your English, ok? So Yes, si no conocen Lemon Tree, ya se la voy a pasar por chat aquí para que puedan escucharla y disfrutarla, ¿ok? So look, before I forget, antes que se me olvide, vamos a la lista. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say here or present if you, if you're here in the class right now. Let me see, aquí estamos, grupo de 8 a 9. Here we go. Today is the seventh. Very good job. So let me start with Amilcar Elgardo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Bernardo Antonio Herrera. Present teacher. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Thank you. 
Carlos Manuel Ramos. Why are you laughing, Yancy? He's not here. <laughs> Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Very good job. Carmen Lizette Santillana. Let me see. It's Carmen Lizette Santillana. I guess she's not, right? Claudia Lizette Lopez. Present teacher. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present teacher. Emma Jamilet Corea. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Okay, Gerson Antonio Hernandez. I'm here. Very good. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present. Irma Raquel Garcia. Present. There you go. Jaime Oswaldo Cortez. Present, teacher. Jose Samuel Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Juliana Bergeli Martínez. Excuse me, teacher. Ah, no le escuché. Solo estamos pasando la asistencia. Present. Ah, present. Present. Karen Ibet Callejas. Present. Catherine Abigail García. Present. Catherine Alicia Martínez. Present. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present teacher. Very good. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Present teacher. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Very good. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present, teacher. Okay. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. I'm here. Very good. Wendy del Carmen González. Wendy. Yancy Andrea Meléndez. Present. Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. Okay, who is missing? No, right? So, class, cameras on, please. ¿Por qué me apagan las cámaras? Solo algunos me han justificado, el resto no, okay? Cameras on, don't forget that rule. Todas las clases aplica, ¿ok? No porque es la última, no aplica. Claro que aplica. Ok, so, I was telling you at the beginning that I was reading the notifications in WhatsApp in which was telling that you have already complete all the sections from, or all the activities from, from section 5. Estaba viendo la notificación que ya ustedes habían completado todos los ejercicios de la section number five. So that's amazing. Very nice job. Okay, Stacy, don't worry. So look at this one. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to have a final review. Okay, final review. And if you go to section number five, to the final exam, these are the activities or the sections that you needed to, to complete. At the beginning, we had a listening exercise. This listening exercise was about, look at the instruction, about homes descriptions. Listen to four people, describe their homes, number the pictures from one to four, type the numbers in letters. Aquí estaba la clave. Algunos me estuvieron consultando. No me funciona, teacher. Type the numbers in letters. Do not need a capital letter or a period. So, this is the description. We have how many pictures? Teníamos four pictures. So, let's practice. Practiquemos y comentemos sobre el audio. Here we go. Page 45. Exercise 4. Listening. It has just one room. 
Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Okay, so what is the correct one? One family lives in the first floor and another family lives in the second floor. Is it picture number four, three, two, or four? Four. Ah, okay, so look at the picture. What type of house is this one? Look at this house. Oh, yo pensé que se iba a ser más grande, but not. This is a two floors. How do you say it? Segundo piso in English? Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. floor and second floor. Yes, we have this vocabulary. Tuvimos esta, esta practical vocabulary. So, this is number one. Let's go back. Let's continue listening. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. One room. And she asleep. She sleeps on the sofa. What picture? Number three. Three. Is it this one? Yes, right? Well, Sweet. very small. Is this a house or an apartment? An apartment. apartment. Okay, an apartment. How many rooms does this apartment have? How many rooms? One. Just one. Very good. So this is number two. two. Very good. So we still have two pictures. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. So it's quite obvious, right? It's an apartment. He lives on the first, fifth floor and he has a nice view. So number one or number two? Number one. Is this one, right? So, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa entonces? Que este es el number? Three or four? Four. 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 Very good. Four. So, houses descriptions. House description. And I was asking you, do you live in a big house, small house, or in an apartment? Where do you live? Do you live in a big house? Small house or an apartment? Where do you live? In a big house. In a big house, okay. Yes. How about the rest? Where do you live? In a apartment. In a big house. Apartment in a big house. How many rooms do you have, or how many rooms does your house have? How many? My house has three, four rooms. Four rooms, okay. My house has six rooms. Six rooms. And what is your favorite room? What is your favorite room? My bedroom. My room. <laughs> I love bedroom. Your bedroom. Do and you remember kitchen. that practice? ¿Se acuerdan de esa práctica? We were speaking, yeah. discussing about this one. Very good. Bedroom. Bedroom. Let me see if I have this vocabulary right here. I guess I don't. No tengo esa presentación lista. But yes. Parts of the house. Parts of the house. Very good job. So let's go back to the platform. Questions about this exercise. Was it easy or difficult for you to understand this exercise? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? The listening practice. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy right? Easy. So I'm really glad to hear that. But it's, I, it's difficult for, I don't understand, Thai. Ah, okay. <laughs> How many times? 
did you play the audio? How many times did you play? ¿Cuántas veces lo pusieron? Just once, twice, three times, four times. How many times? ¿Cuántas veces tuvieron que escucharlo para Five. responder? Twice. 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 Ah, ok. That's acceptable. No, five. Ok. So, you're going to be, if you practice, you're going to be improving. Van a practicar y luego van a mejorar. Esa es la técnica, ok? So, some and any. Bien, recuerda esa clase. Some or any. And we were mixing the use of some and any with countables and non-countables nouns. When do we use some and when do we use any class? Do you remember that? When are we going to use some and when are we going to use any? We use some for affirmative and negative in question any. Very good job. We are going to use some for affirmative and any for interrogative and negative. yeah, negative and interrogative. Negative. Negative. Very good. So if you identify we have a conversation and we need to complete the conversation with some and any. So the conversation goes like this. Amanda, Amanda, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Adam, well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make, mm -hmm. what do we use this here? I'm sorry. Some. Some. Mm -hmm. What is the clue? We identify, is this an affirmative sentence? Is this a negative sentence or interrogative? Affirmative. Okay, it's affirmative. So we only have two options, any and some. Very good. And then we have Amanda. Okay, do we have lemon? Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Interrogative. So what are we going to use with interrogative? Any. Any. Very good. Adam, no, we need to buy. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative? No. Very good. We need to buy. Some. We need to buy some. Amanda, we need some. Some. Very good, because this is an affirmative sentence. Adam, oh, I don't want, I don't. You know, has been the kind of just any. any. Negative. Yeah, because look, yes. this is a negative sentence because we have don't. So this is negative. I don't want. Very good job. So some or any? Uh, any. Any. Very good. And let's continue. And then let's get some. Why some? Why some? Why some? Why some? Not any. Because it's a ceremony. Exactly. This is the answer that I'm expecting to get because this is affirmative. Uh, let's see. Marvin, what is next? No, I don't want. Any. 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 Very good. Olives in my fresh salad. Uh, Nereida, how do we finish this conversation? But let's put um, some um, cucumber in it. Very good. So some and any. Let me see if I can find out the activities for some and any. So we can remember it. Yes, I have it here. Some and any. Aquí está, mira. So don't forget about this. Maybe you already have this information clear. But well, let's take a look at this one. 
Don't forget that we use these some and any with count and non countable nouns. So, do you remember? Well, in this case, we were talking about food. So, can you mention some countable nouns for food and some non countable nouns for food? Let's practice countable nouns. Hablemos de comer. Yes. Lemon. Lemon. Carrots. Cosas en comida. Carrots. Lemon. What else? Strawberry. Onions. Or strawberry. Onions. Yes. Cucumber. Cucumber. Apples. What else? Orange. Orange. Mm -hmm. Grapes. Grapes. Potato. Potatoes, bananas. Okay. bananas. There are so many options, okay? Many examples. Now, tell me examples with non-countable nouns for food. Non-countable. Things that we cannot count in food. The liquid. Uh, ah, liquid. Milk. For example, give me the example of liquid. Meal. Right, butter. Butter, rice, rice, yes. Cream. Okay. Cream. Cream. Soda. Soda. Coffee. Okay. What else? Tea. Tea. Hot cocoa. Cocoa. Hot cocoa. Oh, very good job. There you go. Yes, hot cocoa. So that was section number. ¿Qué sección era esa? We were talking about food. Maybe. Section number three. Yes, don't forget, es para que refrescan su conocimiento. And I still remember that we were talking about breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? or what people usually have during breakfast, okay? I still remember that conversation. Questions about the use of some and any. Now, is clear? I guess it is clear, right? Exercise number three or part number, well, not number, part C, adverse of Frequency, adverse of frequency. Do you remember the um, formula? Percent. ¿Cuál es la fórmula que ocupábamos para adverse of frequency? The subject plus, plus the adverse of frequency. Plus verb. Uh -huh. Plus the verb plus complement. Plus complement. Subject. Plus, plus the other frequency. Other frequency plus. Frequency plus the verb. Mm, okay. And plus the complement. Complement. There we go. I'm really glad that you haven't forgotten about this one. Subject. And can you mention the adverse of frequency that we were practicing during the class? Okay. Always, usually, usually, often, hardly, ever, in ever. But why only Jansi have about the rest of the class? Some. So, uh, some. some. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid always to participate. Always. Usually, often, sometimes, sometimes never, and never. And never. Very good job. How about sometimes? ¿Qué decíamos de sometimes? ¿Qué pasaba con ese adverb of frequency? We use uh, the... En la época podemos usar al inicio. Very good job. I am... Because it's the only adverb of frequency that we can use at the beginning. Here I think of some, any. Vamos a ver. Okay, aquí está. Adverb of frequency, always, usually, often. 
sometimes, hardly ever, and never, okay? And then we have like a category or a percentage. Teníamos un porcentaje para cada uno. Being on top, always with 100%, and never with zero percent of probabilities to happen, okay? Or frequency to happen. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, okay? So, let's see. Completemos entonces el exercise. Veamos de qué es el ejercicio. The correct advert of frequency. Here we go. Number one. Number one. Let me ask. Help me out to complete. Who has not participated yet? Quien no participado ahora? Okay, ya participó. Let me ask Jaime. Jaime, do you remember the correct option for number one? Uh, correct. Okay, so this is a correct sentence. Si seguimos la fórmula, está correcto? Never I play soccer on weekends. Is this correct or not? No, incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. incorrect. So what is the correct order? I never I play. never play soccer. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb and complement. So yes, of course, this is not correct, teacher. It's not correct. How about Carmen Guadalupe, number two? Uh, correct, teacher. Is it correct? Are you sure? Correct. Yes or no? Yes? <laughs> is it correct? Correct. Yes, correct. yes it is. Correct. No duden. Of course, teacher, it is correct. Esa es la regla. Que tengo que seguir. They usually study English at night. So, yes, I'm pretty sure, teacher. How about Irma? Take a look at number three. Is this a correct sentence or not? Sometimes she feels very tired. Incorrect. Oh, it's incorrect. Why? So, what is the correction? It's correct. correct. Ah, so Irma is saying correct and you are saying correct. It's correct. Correct and correct. 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 Because you can it's correct. use sometimes. Correct. Lo que acabamos de decir. Lo que acabamos de There you go. Si le salió incorrecta, ay, porque me salió incorrecta. Yo le puse la opción que me sobraba, no. Yo quiero que me den respuestas lógicas. ¿Por qué está correcta y por qué incorrecta? Bien. Sometimes it's the only algorithm of frequency that we can place at the beginning or after the subject. Very good job. How about... Class, don't forget your audios. No olviden también sus audios, okay? Be careful with your audios. Number four, Samuel, what do you think with number four? Correct. Correct or not? Correct. Why? Uh, is it, it a correct order? It's the correct order. So how about with this one? Is the verb correct or not? Do we need to add a uh, S? Yes. ¿Se acuerdan de la tercera persona? ¿Necesitábamos agregarle S o no al verbo? Yes. ¿Hm? Ya lo hice dudar. Okay. No. Sería call her o call her. Está correcto así como la ven. Call her. Call her. Yes. ¿Y qué le dio la yes. plataforma? Yes. ¿Se las puso correcta o incorrecta? Ahorita voy a... Está correcta. <risa> Ahorita voy a revisar. Yo había probado incorrecta y me salía mala. Me salía como correcta. Ok. 
Pero si se fijan, acabamos de notar un detalle. ¿Está entonces correcto o incorrecto? Está incorrecta. Pero. <risa> Pero la reforma tiene como correcta. Sí, es. Entonces voy a reportar esta porque para mí está incorrecta. Yo ahí hubiera dicho incorrecto. Pero, ajá, la plataforma, ya vimos que tiene un pequeño detalle. Siempre que se fijen cada detalle, repórtenlo en bien captura de pantalla. Nosotros lo hacemos llegar inmediatamente a, a los de la academia. No, no tomemos solo porque la plataforma me dice, no, no. Sepamos, para mí era incorrecta, pero bueno. Tercera persona, no olviden eso. Calls heard. En number five. Let's check number five. What do you think, Saira? Is this correct or not? Correct. You listen to me hardly ever. Yes? No. Is this a correct order, class? Yes or no? No. no. Oh, oh, it's no, not. It's not. Object. Yeah, you Adverb hardly frequency. ever mm -hmm. yes? listen to my... You hardly ever listen to me. You listen to me. To me. You hardly ever listen to me. So, yes, it's not correct. It's not class. It's not the correct order. Como es lo correcto? You hardly ever listen to me. There you go. Questions about this exercise. Preguntas sobre el uso de first of frequency. Yes? No? No. no, right? No olvidemos eso, ¿ok? Revisemos siempre. Simple present. Esto lo ocupamos con el simple present. Por ende, he, she, and it necesitan que se les agregue o que se modifique el verbo, ¿ok? Don't forget that rule. Very good job. So let's continue. This is the next one. Letter D. Choose the correct meaning of WH questions. Ah, WH questions. Ya me acordé también de esa clase. WH questions. Estábamos hablando de sports. Sports. And we were giving some examples. Veamos. Who. ¿Para qué ocupamos who? Question about people. Uh, ask about people. People. People, can you give me an example using who? Who is she? Who is she? Okay. Who is that girl? Who is your teacher? Who, who is you? your best friend? Who are you? ¿Quién eres tú? So, exactly. We need to use who when we want to talk about people. Mm -hmm. Number two. Where? Where? It's about place. 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 Time, place, people, choice, things or objects. Place. place. Give me some examples using where. Where do you, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do, where you, do you come from? from? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you, where you was born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Don't where, okay. where were you born? Very good. When? Time, place, people, choice, think, or object? When? Time. 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 When is your birthday? When is vacation going to start? When <laughs> are you going to come to the English class? When? When? Cuando? When? Okay. Very good job. Which? Which? About things and about Choice. Things. Choice. Exact. Choice. Choice. Remember that this can be compared with what? Which and what? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de which and what? ¿Cuál y qué? Puede ser. Mm -hmm. What? Y, 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 y what es para referirnos a cosas o objetos. Uh -huh. Ambos, fíjense que ambos es. Which and what? What is your favorite food? Les estoy dando opciones. With what? What? No, es una pregunta si se fijan. 
Javier, ¿cuál es tu favorito food? ¿Cuál es tu comida which, favorita? Es como más para cosas. No, en which yo le doy las opciones. Your microphone class, which are your favorite? Which is your favorite food? Y le doy opciones. Ice cream. Uh, ¿Qué más? Fruit. Or vegetables. Si se fijan, cuando yo voy a usar which, yo tengo que darles opciones. Y ustedes eligen una. ¿Cuál? Which. Cuando tengo what, yo no le doy opciones. Es una pregunta. Digámosle en general o abierta. What is your favorite food? Espero una respuesta. Pero cuando uso which, yo doy la opción y yo espero recibir una de esas tres opciones como respuesta. What is your favorite food? Ah, Chinese food. Which is your favorite food? Ice cream, fruits or vegetables? Oh, ice cream, of course. Teacher. ¿Ven la diferencia entonces de what and which? ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Esa es la diferencia entonces. Which, les doy opciones. Seleccionan una opción. What, no les doy. Es una pregunta abierta. Ambas hacen referencias a qué o cuál. Okay, qué o cuál. So, in these cases... Which, choice, what. Uh -huh. ¿Qué sería what entonces? Thing mm, object. Thing or object. Very good. Oh. Mm, Thing or object. Then we use, this is so easy, the use of can and can't. Insistimos en la pronunciación correcta. Can and can't. Number one, I am very hungry. Hungry, I eat. I can't. Can. I can't eat everything right now. Ashira, this is a fast animal. Ashira, can or can't? Can. Can, can run very fast. Can. Maria, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Very good. I. I can do my homework, teacher. It's too difficult. <laughs> and the last one, a baby. A baby can. can. Or a baby can drive a car. I can. So this is, I guess this is the easiest part. Esta fue la parte más fácil. And the last part. The use of simple present interrogative. Linda, do you live in apartment? So, one, two, three, or four? Third one is the correct. Do you live? Very good. Es interrogativa y cuando utilizamos un auxiliar, el verbo no cambia, no nos permite cambiar. Entonces es do and live. No, I. No, I don't like. I don't. I, don't, I don't live in a house. Oh, very good. No, I don't. I live in a house. In a house. Linda. Otra pregunta. Does it house? Does it house? Very good. The last one. Como el sujeto es tercera persona, utilizamos das. Y yeah. el verbo no se modifica. Have. Does it have a bag or a jar? Yes. yes. It does. Yes, yes, it does. Muy bien. Yes. Yes. Porque es tercera persona. Yes, it does. Tercera persona. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Do you First. live alone? No, mm -hmm. I... I don't. don't I, I don't. live with my family. So this is the correct one. I live with my family. That sounds nice. That's so nice. Do you have any brothers or sisters? This is the correct one. The third. The third. Class, the practice is for everyone. Quiero que todos me den la opinión. Creo que ya hicimos el examen, ¿verdad? Ya todos lo completaron. Así que esta era la parte yes, más pesadita mía. 
Sigamos. Yes, I. Do. Yes, I, I do. do. I have four have sisters. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Does your house have very good? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It does. Do you live? Do you have your own bedroom? A very good. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I, I do. do. I do. Yes, I do. And that was the last part, okay? Questions about this one, class. ¿Cómo sintieron este final exam? Was it easy, difficult? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Easy. 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 Me encanta easy. escuchar eso. Easy, teacher. Easy. So, class, I want to listen to you. Comments about. ¿Cómo sintieron este módulo? Comparándolo con el anterior, ¿creen que hemos avanzado un poco más? ¿Se sienten más seguros del vocabulario? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right? Sí, yo But siento que... Very short. Si yo comparo de la clase 1, estaban bien shy, bien callados, no querían participar. a ah, la clase número 16, claro. Hay una diferencia enorme. Han mejorado su seguridad y esa es la clave, ¿ok? No tengan miedo, no solo conmigo, con cualquier teacher que venga, no tengan miedo de preguntar, de participar y de completar los ejercicios, si hay cualquier duda, siempre consulten, ¿ok? Esa es nuestra meta, ayudarles para que ustedes puedan moverse al siguiente nivel. Bien, class, nine o'clock. Gracias, en serio, gracias. Ay, se siente feito siempre despedirse de los Yeah. Curso, ¿verdad? Ya me había acostumbrado. Qué grupo más bonito. Déjenme decirles en serio. No me costó con ustedes. Uh -huh. No tuve que andar insistiendo en clase, completemos. No. Ustedes tomaron su rol como estudiante, activo, siempre participando. Thank you. Gracias a todos por haberse unido. En serio, fue un placer. Ahí quedo siempre en el grupo. Cualquier consulta, ahí estoy siempre, ¿ok? Pregúntenme en cualquier cosa que los pueda apoyar. Ahí estoy, ¿ok? Chao. Alguien que quiera despedir el curso y decir unas palabras. I will miss you, miss. Ay, me too. Miren a Jansen, me encanta tu filtro. I will miss you too, Jansen. Aprendí mucho de cada thank uno. Thank you for de everything, teacher. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Teacher. Una foto. Una foto. Yeah. A ver, screenshot. Yeah. Prendamos las cámaras. Screenshot, three. <laughs> Two, ahí, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Sí, Hoy <ríe> sí me enciende las cámaras, sí, para que nos quede esa fotito. Sí, créanme, me divertí muchísimo con este grupo, bastante, me he reído mucho. Wow, Catherine está en la playa, ya está de vacación. Ya Semana Santa. Semana Santa, <ríe> ok. Bien, screenshot in three, two, and one, smile. Hoy ando ropa oscura. ¿Qué me pasa? No me veo casi en la cama. Aquí vamos, se los comparto. Gracias, chicos. It was a big pleasure. Espero, en serio, que me den el siguiente módulo estar con ustedes. Yeah. Me encantó, me encantó bastante. Teacher, al final no, no dijeron un chamolín. <risa> Emma, faltó. <risa> y Carmen. Y Emma, ojalá sí. que no se recuerde la teacher. <risa> Hey, great job. Sí. <ríe> no, se los comparto también Pero ahorita. Lengua la traba. Para que ustedes lo practiquen en casa. Ok, clase, cualquier cosa y quedamos siempre en el chat. No tengan pena de escribirme, consultarme. Con gusto enorme, en serio. Un gran abrazo para ustedes. Sí. Espero que disfruten Thank la vacación you. y probablemente nos veamos en el siguiente módulo y si no pues ya saben ya estamos thank you so much have a great thank night you. thank What a you thank you teacher bye 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 un gusto un gusto también bye bye thank you bye bye bye